A clearer picture emerges about the future of Critical Role, The Legend of Vox Machina, Dimension 20, and other actual play projects as the SAG strike begins. Enlighten me! With the SAG after a strike underway, we are starting to get a clearer picture of how it will impact the various actual play shows that everyone loves. That means that our last video on the SAG after a strike contains some inaccurate speculation. Son of a bitch! So let's let's clear things up a little bit. Critical Role will be continuing to release new episodes for the foreseeable future, but other shows may eventually be taking a pause. We're going to run down what we do know, what projects are and aren't affected, and what we still don't know. But first, why not leave us a like and subscribe? So to understand exactly just how the SAG after a strike impacts actual play, you have to understand what the strike actually prohibits. Just about every Hollywood project is covered by some sort of agreement between the production company and SAG-AFTRA. The SAG-AFTRA strike prohibits SAG-AFTRA members, that is the actors, from working on productions covered by several of those agreements. Notably, those agreements include the SAG-AFTRA television agreement, which includes new media, the SAG-AFTRA new media agreement for high-budget original or derivative programs, and special new media agreements. However, other agreements are not impacted by the SAG after strike, such as commercials, radio and digital media, television programs covered by the network TV code, which includes soap operas, variety shows, talk shows, and game shows, the interactive slash video game agreement, and television and new media animation. Thanks to a handy SAG After production database, we actually were able to look up a few actual play projects and what agreements they work under. For instance, Dimension 20 is covered under the New Media Agreement, which means that it's currently struck from work. However, The Legend of Vox Machina and the Mighty Nine animated series are covered under the Television and New Media Animation contract, so they can continue production without interruption. Also, the upcoming actual play series Purple Worm Kill Kill, which stars Matthew Lillard and is supposed to be one of the uh, you know anchor shows for that new D&D channel that's coming out sometime soon, that's also covered under the television agreement and thus is also struck from work. The interesting part is that the SAG After database that we uh, were able to access doesn't cover Critical Role and other Twitch and YouTube channels, for instance Smosh. Critical Role has already said that their release schedule won't be interrupted for now, but their statement is still a little vague as to whether or not they're actually filming new content. Now, we do know that Critical Role follows sag after guidelines and has production members that are part of other trade guilds, and in fact, all of the Critical Role cast are SAG members as well, but we just don't know the exact agreement they have with the union. We do know that Critical Role is moving forward with appearing at San Diego Comic-Con and some other major conventions and shows in the coming months, while at least one actual play that worked under a SAG agreement prohibited by the strike has had to pull out of San Diego Comic-Con. They haven't officially announced that yet, but chances are you'll see a video about that next week. We should also note that actual play projects that are currently shut down from work can apply from a waiver from sag after to resume production with union actors. Sam Reich said that Dropout may pursue a waiver, but for now they'll continue to work on projects that are already in the can, which means that they've already completed filming, which includes additional episodes of Dimension 20. Now obviously this is a pretty fluid situation and we're still learning plenty about the nuances of the SAG after deal and the SAG after strike. Who knew that 2023 would be the year that tabletop RPG fans got crash courses on open gaming license law and labor agreements. Whew, not what I had on my bingo card. So are you happy that we'll be getting more critical role? Are you upset that Dimension 20 could be seeing a longer than usual hiatus? Let us know in the comments as always, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.